So this is a question number 51 uh, from 2022 IIT channel. So for t belongs to R, let t be the greatest integer less than or equal to t. So t is a box function. And uh, let d x and y belongs to this R2 where x square plus y square is less than 4. So it is an open circuit. And let f uh, is equal to d. So it belongs to the real space and G is also uh, at point D real space be defined by F0 G F00 G00 equal to 0 and we have defined these two function f x y and g x y where x comma y is not equal to 0 comma 0 and let E be the set of points of D at which both F and G are discontinuous. So number of elements in the set E. So we have to find at uh, which point F and G are this right? So this is we have to check. So let's start with this. So at the point is F zero comma zero is G zero comma zero equal to zero. So this is continuous. This is not as continuous. So this is continuous okay because both are zero at this point okay. now we have this uh, open circle where we have given this x square y square less than equal to four. so we have this data points that you can say from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now let us consider any box function. Suppose x is a box function. So this box, box function are discontinuous at integer points. Suppose this uh, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. 0, 1, 2, 3. So, these are uh, this box function is a discontinuous at this point. So, we have 1, 2, 3 over here. So, 0 is not possible because it is already told that uh, yeah, this is continuous at the point 0, the both function. The both function at, at the uh, origin this 0, 0 is 0, and 4 is also not possible because uh, we have the open circle where it is less than 4. So, we have this value of, so if we consider this function f of x, y, now so f of x, y, you can see, so this is a box function, this x square plus y square. So, x square plus y square is a box function, you can see. So, this function is uh, at 1 this continuous at 1 2 and 3 x squared by square this for fx y. now similarly you can see for gxy so we have over here the box function as y square right so, we can have three values over here. So, y square equal to 1, that implies y is equal to plus minus 1, y square equal to 2, so y will be plus minus root 2, y square equal to 3, so y implies y equal to be plus minus 2, 3. Now, if we took this equation with x square minus y square and put the value of y over here. So, let us take this. So, this is x square plus y square okay, equal to 1. If we put y equal to plus minus 1, so this implies x is equal to 0. 
So we here we have two points zero plus minus one. Now if we put y equal to plus minus two, okay. So x what will be x? X will be one minus y square to the power root to the power half. So root over one minus y square. So if we put two over here. So y equal to, if we put this plus minus 2, so y square equal to, uh, uh, so this is root 2 actually. So this is plus minus root 2. So here it will be 1 minus 2. So it is not possible. Okay. So y equal to root 2 is not possible. Now, if we do the second equation, x square plus y square equal to from here we know that x is equal to plus minus so here the same thing will be here the plus minus will be here plus minus root over 2 minus y square right so now consider y is equal to plus minus 1 so we have x is equal to plus minus so is a point four points will be there plus minus one comma plus minus one if we put y equal to plus minus root two so x will be zero so there is two again two points uh, zero plus minus root two if we put y equal to three y square equal to 3 so equal to minus 1 so y equal to plus minus root 3 is not possible so we will check with now we will check with this so there are two points this uh, x square plus y square equal to 3 which implies that x is equal to plus minus root over 3 minus y square if we put y equal to plus minus 1 so x will be plus minus root 2 so here are two points this plus minus root 2 plus minus 1 now if we put y equal to plus minus root 2 x will be plus minus 1 okay. so x will be plus minus 1 which implies that points are plus minus 1 comma plus minus root 2 and if y equal to plus minus root 3 then x is equal to 0 that implies it has two points 0 comma plus minus root 3 so these are all the points where is both the functions f and g are discontinuous so if we write all the points over here so we have got okay. so this is the number one this one Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay. So now, how many points are there? There will be six sets of uh, points are there. So if we write down all the points, what it will be? Do? So zero, one. 0 minus 1 1 comma 1 right 1 comma minus 1 minus 1 comma 1 minus 1 comma minus 1 so this is for this now 0 root 2 so it will be 0 comma root 2 and 0 comma minus 2 
so this one now it is the fourth one so it will be root 2 comma 1 root 2 comma minus 1 minus root 2 comma 1 minus root 2 comma minus root 2 okay so here it will be uh, for this one uh, plus minus 1 plus minus root 2 so 1 comma root 2 1 comma minus root 2 so minus Now minus one comma root two minus one comma minus root two and finally it will be zero comma root three and zero comma minus root three. So how many elements are there? So we get total number of elements will be eighteen. So our answer for question number one so the number of elements in the set E is eight. Okay. So question number fifty two if G is in the region R two it is given by G of X Y belongs to the R two X square plus Y square less than one and Y is in this range where X is greater than zero and Y is greater than zero. So have to find the value of this integer. So let's uh, draw the picture first. So this is an uh, x y okay. So here you will get is a circle of okay. So this is x square plus y square less than 1 and we have two lines this is the condition is that x by root 3 less than y less than root 3x so how it will look like the y equal to root 3x so it is this y equal to root 3x and this is y equal to x by root 3. So this is the region where I have to find this is the we have to find the integral of this region. This is the region we have to find it. Now, if we consider this x equal to r cos theta and y equal to according to the Euclidean geometry, so uh, r equal to y sin theta. So y equal to root 3x we have. So from here we can get that uh, putting the value of uh, sin theta by cos theta, so it will be tan theta equal to root 3 so theta is pi by 3 so this angle is pi by 3 okay and we also have this y is equal to x by root 3 so tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3 so theta is equal to pi by 6. So this angle, this angle is pi by 6. Now, uh, uh, so we have, we have already given this 200 uh, pi x square dx dy. So this is given, we have already considered this that 200 by pi, so 1 will be 
x square is going to r square cos square theta r dr d theta right so you can write it in this form so from r is equal to from 0 to 1 and theta you have already find from pi by 6 to pi by 3 so if we put in this manner so 200 by pi first integral 0 to 1 or r r cube dr and pi by 3 pi by 6 to pi by 3 okay so we have uh, pi by 3 over here pi by 3 so we can write this as cos square theta as half of 1 plus cos 2 theta d theta right so this is 200 by pi Okay. and it is half over here so it is up to the power 4 by 4 0 to 1 and here it will be theta plus sine 2 theta by 2 from pi by 6 to pi by 3 right. so this we can cancel from 100 and it is also 25 so 25 by pi okay and here you will get that pi by 3 plus root 3 by 4 if you put sine 2 pi by 3 so 2 pi by 3 sine pi by 3 divided by 2 so root 3 by 2 into half this pi by 4 minus of pi by 6 plus of root 3 by 4 okay so from here you can get this 25 point uh, 25 by pi and here this uh, this function cancel out and you will get this pi by 6 okay so pi by 6 is as 25 by 6 is the answer and uh, in decimal term it will be 4 point So it will be one six six go like this. So we can write it as uh, two decimal points as four point one seven. So it come at four point one point six 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 and in this manner we will go. So we can write it up to two decimal points rounded off. So four point one seven. So this is the value of this integer. This uh, four point one seven. Okay. So this is question number eighty two.